Today we are looking at Chapter 3 Season 3 trailer and really awesome leaks like Darth Vader's new location and new OP mythic weapon. Also, I'm going to show you guys how to do this Sonic the Hedgehog emotes in Fortnite. Please use code SMJM. Alright guys, first of all, let me quickly show you guys this glitch that allows you to do Sonic the Hedgehog emote. Yes, basically allows you to spin like Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a really cool glitch. So basically, we're going to do this glitch at this location right over here. So basically, you want to uh, get on this cannon and then you want to land at this uh, trash can right over here. Okay, now basically, in order to do this, what you can do is you can go on your map and then you want to basically mark exactly where I'm marking right now. Okay, right over there. And then you want to get inside of this cannon right over here. And then you want to basically uh, point towards this bit of this mark right here. And then you want to shoot, okay? And that way, you'll basically land on this marker okay exactly where you mark which is going to be this dumpster right over here come on come on come on dude. oh my god bro i completely missed it all right let's try that again shall we okay so let's see if this is gonna work come on bro come on come on come on come on please 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 oh my god it's more it's working it's working bro it's working come on come on let's go okay so basically you want to get in now if you get out of this thing right here you start spinning just like this which is super funny but if you want this emoji for the whole game what you want to do is go into team rumble okay you want to be in the storm and also you want uh, to have this cannon again as well okay so what you want to do is basically wait for your health to reach around eight and nine so you're basically about to be eliminated you want to get inside of the cannon just like this and then you want to shoot yourself when you're around four to five health okay and if you do that you will basically get eliminated because you run out of health obviously and if you do that correctly, you will basically start spinning like Sonic the Hedgehog, bro. Look at this, fam. Oh, my God. This is such a cool emote, though. Fortnite should definitely add this emote in-game. What do you guys think? This is such a cool emote. This can also be like a traversal as well. You can see right over here, if you, like, walk slowly, you can move as well, just like a traversal emote. Imagine if they added, like, Sonic the Hedgehog mythic weapon, and if you pick it up, you can actually spin like this and you can eliminate enemies that would be super cool bro oh my god yo look at this you can also like jump around using this as well can you build by the way while you're like this yes you can oh my god bro look at this this looks so trippy let's talk about chapter 3 season 3 leaks now a few days ago fortnite's unreal engine did a live stream on twitch and if you watch that stream for maybe around 30 minutes you would receive this spray right here of lara Croft. And during that stream, Fortnite uh, leaked a bunch of information of Chapter 3 Season 3. And in my opinion, I think it was like a deliberate leak. They wanted to like create hype around the new season. Now during the live stream, this is what they were showing. You can see on the left monitor, this is a trailer of Chapter 3. They're basically showing around what they can do using the Unreal Engine to create trailers and stuff. But if you look to your uh, right hand side monitor, you can see a bunch of these files. Now, if you zoom in into the right monitor, you can actually see the names of the files. And these names pretty much broke Twitter. You can see the first file says Chapter 3 Season 2 Arm Teaser. I'm not quite sure exactly what that is. And below that, we can start seeing Chapter 3 Season 3 leaks. The first file is named Chapter 3 Season 3 Jones. And that's when everyone was like, oh my god, we are getting another Jones skin. I mean, how many more Jones skins are you going to give us? But this is not, in fact, the Jones from Fortnite. Now, I'm going to talk about that in just a little bit. But going through this list, the next one is a Chapter 3 Season 3 Vader. And that's obviously Darth Vader from the Star Wars. And then we also have Candy Apple, which I'm not quite sure what that is. But another familiar name is Doom. Now, if you guys didn't know, Doom is a huge game. And also, you can see on the list, we've got Family Guy, which in my opinion is going to be one of the most coolest skins we're ever going to have now we all know this is in fact a chapter 3 season 3 leaks because obviously the files are in fact called a chapter 3 season 3 now the first one a chapter 3 season 3 jones like i said before it's not the jones from fortnite this folder is actually referring to indiana jones now this would make sense as well because a new movie of indiana jones is coming out very soon and it would make sense to have this skin maybe in the battle pass and also have like indiana jones pois as well 
on the Fortnite map would make a lot of sense as well. They can put in like really creative uh, POIs like maybe temples, pyramids, or maybe even like a cave. They can also have like Indiana Jones mythic weapon as well, which is going to be his whip. It could be like a melee weapon. You can whip someone and it will do damage. Uh, the next folder is called uh, Chapter 3 Season 3 Vader. Again, this is obviously referring to Darth Vader from Star Wars. Now, Vader is not only being teased at this stream right over here. Donald Mustard C. CEO of Fortnite also teased Vader and a bunch of Star Wars related stuff as well. Now, I am pretty much sure, even though it's not been confirmed, that Darth Vader is going to be part of the Battle Pass of Chapter 3 Season 3. My guessing is going to be a secret skin. Now, one thing that's really cool about Darth Vader, he's not only going to be a skin, but he's in fact is going to be a boss on the map as well. And he's going to get a new POI as well. Now, these all information has come from Tabor Hill, who has never been wrong before by the way. His prediction has come true pretty much like 100% of the time. He even predicted the chapter 3 map as well, when no one did in chapter 2. According to Tabor Hill, we are going to get Darth Vader boss. Now, after he said this, everyone just thought like next season is going to be a huge Star Wars season. It is going to be like season 4 chapter 2, where the whole season was pretty much Marvel. But if you think about it, in chapter 2, season 5, we got the Mandalorian. He was a boss and also he had a bunch of mythic weapons as well. But the whole season was not Star Wars related. And also Mandalorian was part of the battle pass as well. So just having a Darth Vader as a boss and also having his POI on the map as well does not mean the whole season is going to be like Star Wars theme. Also most likely Darth Vader is going to get his own POI. Now there's a rumor going on that this POI right here is going to be Darth Vader's POI and is going to basically replace a daily beauty. Google. Now that makes sense as well. You can see a bunch of lava and also we know that Daily Bugles is inside the volcano and we have seen volcanoes images in chapter 3 loading screens. Also now that we know Darth Vader is going to be a boss, I'm pretty sure he's going to have a mythic weapon as well. Just like Mandalorian where he had two mythic weapons, the jetpack and the sniper. Now in the movies, Darth Vader's main weapon is his red lightsaber. But there's a rumor going on that we are going to get lightsaber but in fact, they're going to be pickaxe and not weapon. So if we're getting lightsabers as pickaxes, maybe we will get like some sort of like Star Wars weapon. And maybe that is going to be Darth Vader's main mythic weapon. Also, Doom is another name that was mentioned in the files as well. Now, if you guys didn't know, Doom again is a video game and it's been around for a long time. It's actually one of the very first FPS game. If we get a skin, it's going to be this guy right here. Hopefully, we'll also get like Doom weapon in the game as well. That would be be super cool. Now, another really cool collaboration that might be happening very soon is Family Guy. Now, if Family Guy gets released in Fortnite, that would be like one of the biggest collaboration ever because obviously everyone just loves Family Guy. Now, if we get that collaboration, obviously we are going to get Peter Griffin because obviously he is the Family Guy, but I'm not quite sure how they're going to like have the skin in the game because Peter Griffin obviously is a very big. Now, we have had big skins before in game like Thanos, for example, Brutus. They're all like muscular big. So we've never really had like a heavy set skin in Fortnite. So it's going to be interesting how they're going to have this skin in the game. I guess if they add Stewie from Family Guy, they can do what they did with Morty. Where he was basically riding a mech. But I would love to have like a Family Guy house in Fortnite as well as a POI. That would be super cool. Also, finally, Donald Mustard tweeted this image right here. A bunch of Star Wars related skin we might see next season. Season. It looks like we are getting Chewbacca and also C-3PO, just like this golden robot.